my name is Rachel Reisner and I'm a certified professional pet sitter in Montreal, Canada. I'm tr experimenting here with um, my power shot instead of using my phone. So hopefully the quality of the video will be a little bit higher <laughs> than it has been, but um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, also my dishwasher is running, so uh, <laughs> we'll see how it handles the background noise as well. So um, here um, I thought I'd make this quick video to demonstrate three wand toys that, um, uh, that you could use for your cats. I think that it's very important to regularly play with your cats and exercise your cats. There are some cats who just lie there and don't do anything, but for the most part um, they're sort of prey and predator, so it's important for them to get exercise so they don't get fat and also so that they don't get bored or develop behavioral issues like attacking you when you're walking through the hallway minding your own business. So um, I like wand toys a lot because wand toys are great in that they, um, they help you to play with your cat while keeping your body a safe distance away from sharp claws and sharp teeth. And also um, you don't have to expend as much energy yourself when you play with the cat when you use a wand toy. The cat can run around and chase the string or the toy or whatever it is and you can just um, very leisurely move it around instead of for example with balls which also work as well but it requires a lot more energy to constantly pick up and throw the ball. Sometimes the cat doesn't bring the ball back um, so that's something to consider. So um, here today I'm just talking about three wand toys that um, I have myself uh, to consider um, you know, trying out on your cat as well. So one thing that I've posted a videos about before is the, um, this is the Cat Dancer Cat Charmer. And I really like this toy. I sometimes give it to clients um, because the wand is just the right length where it's um, long enough so that you can play with your cat. Um, but it uh, gives you enough time so that if your cat does become really overly stimulated and they start to scratch with their claws, you can um, have enough time to pull your hand back so that your hand doesn't become part of the toy. I like it also because it has this very aerodynamic fleece ribbon. And I've tried a knockoff from Amazon just to see what uh, you know, if it was as good as the Cat Charmer, and I have to tell you, it was not as good. The Cat Charmer is much better than the um, cheap knockoff. I found that the um, with the knockoff, the uh, fleece ribbon was not as aerodynamic. Um, it, it just wasn't made as well. Also, just the, um, it didn't seem as durable because the stick bended a lot more. It wasn't as um, well made and durable as this one is. The connection wasn't as good. So, um, and I think the string might have actually been longer on the knockoff, but um, it just got tangled up a lot more easily. I find with the Cat Charmer, I think it's very well made. And um, the string is just the right length. So you can pretend like you're one of those um, rhythmic gymnasts with the, um, their batons and wands and play with your cat that way. So it's um, quite a lot of fun. Kids like it as well. Um, one thing is that um, I do have a couple of uh, um, cats that have um, very quickly chewed through the fleece. And so then you can just tie it back together with a knot <laughs> or just tie another ribbon onto it. I mean, but the wand is still good. But um, that's something to consider if you have a, a very um, determined cat who will chew through that. But I mean, Otherwise, for the most part, it's great. And also, I like that the ribbon is soft. And if you do accidentally touch the cat with a ribbon, it's soft, so it's not going to hurt the cat. So um, this is the Cat Charmer from the Cat Dancer uh, um, company. Another cat toy that I sometimes see that I tried out for myself, I actually saw this demonstrated at a pet shop. And I thought, gee, that looks fantastic. That cat looks like it's having a lot of fun. I'm going to try it for myself. And this is, I think it's called the Dubbird. Dubbird. The problem with Dubbird is that um, it's more expensive than the Cat Charmer. The Cat Charmer retails, uh, I think it retails for about $9 on Amazon. 
um, although I, I, I bought most of mine wholesale, so I paid a little less. But um, the Dubbard is, I, I think it's roughly, I, I really ha I haven't checked the prices lately, but I think it's roughly like $16, which for a cat toy that can be easily destroyed is expensive. It comes with these, um, it's almost like a fishing lure, <laughs> a lure for cats, um, that can be replaced. So they do sell replacements of these, so you don't necessarily, if um, the cat destroys it, you don't necessarily have to buy a whole new um, wands and lore. You can just buy um, the lore separate. And because, for me at least, it's an expensive cat toy, um, I don't leave this one lying around. Usually what I do is I, when the cat isn't playing with I'm not playing with the cat, I'll put it up onto a top, onto a high shelf so that um, the cat is only chewing on it and playing with it when I am uh, there to supervise. Because the thing is with these feathers, um, it's great because it's very aerodynamic and um, it has this very long wand toy, which for me actually because I, I think partly because I'm, I'm not a very tall person, I'm about five foot four, five foot five. Um, this wand is actually almost too long for me. Um, I'm not quite sure how long it is. I, you know, I guess with a good video they would measure it. But anyway, um, so I find it a little bit diff more difficult to use than say the Cat Charmer, which this wand um, length is um, just perfect for me. The Dabbird is, as you can see, over twice the length of the Cat Charmer. But um, it does, the great thing about the Cat Charmer is it's, it's got this, um, the feather thing, which is cool, and cats love it. Um, so it's got that sort of more natural, I guess,ness to it that they're chasing something that looks a little bit like a bird. But the thing is that these feathers, um, at least to me, I guess because I, I don't know, I, I think partly because I just in my mind, it's just, I keep thinking this is an expensive toy. Like I don't want the cat to destroy it in five seconds. And it, it has lasted up, actually, I've had this for a couple of years now, but I think part of why I've had it for a couple of years is just because I take such good care of it. Um, so um, I do play with it with my cats, but not as much as the cat charmer, just because I'm just worried that they're going to destroy it, and then I'm, I'm just not going to be willing to get a replacement lure. But um, other than that, just I, I think it's basically my reservations are basically mostly about cost. Um, it's a great toy, and cats love it. And um, it's a wand toy, so I really like wand toys. So um, it's great, because you can move it around, cats like to follow it, and you can make it dance around, so that's something that you all can play with. The third wand toy that I'm gonna show you is maybe a little unusual that you may not find it around. I, I got this actually, um, I was looking around for um, nice, um, giveaways for clients and I do sometimes leave peacock feathers but what I usually do is I leave um, at peacock feathers that maybe you're about this size about the size of maybe a pen and so I was thinking well it would be nicer if I had longer peacock feathers because then um, uh, with the safety feature of having a wand toy with having the wand um, help to separate me from the sharp claws and teeth so I ordered these very long peacock feathers, which actually I think are perhaps a bit too long. Um, mostly my reservations, I, I have to research this a bit more, but I'm a little concerned about leaving a lot, such a, a hardy peacock feather around because I'm just worried that if the cat decides to chew on it, they might end up um, getting the um, stiff, hard, hard quill part stuck in their throat. So I'd have to research that a bit more. But aside from um, that safety feature, um, because I, I'm not quite worried about that with, I mean, this is, the plastic here is quite dirty, and also this is metal. But um, this peacock feather, I mean, it's quite able to, and actually my daughter already vented a little bit, which is fine, because it's just, it's a toy, it's meant to be playing with. And so the great thing about peacock feathers is just these cats love this. I'm kind of trying to tempt my, Olaf is looking over here and I'm trying to tempt him to come over. But um, um, this is another option for wand toy if you want something a bit more natural perhaps, is um, cats just, they really like feathers. The only issue with feathers is just that they, they don't last very long. Um, and basically when they die, if they get snapped in half or things, then you just have to replace them. Because I mean, with uh, a, a wand string like this, you can just, if it gets ripped apart or chewed apart, you can just tie it together again and just keep using it or replace the ribbon. But when you have like a feather like this or smaller feather or um, feathers like this, it's, they're just, they're a little harder to replace. 
Um, just for me, I mean, I'm not a very DIY person, but maybe if you are more DIY, it would be easier for you. But this is just another option to think outside the box that um, you don't always have to buy um, your cat toys or pet toys specifically from the pet store. It doesn't necessarily have to be a specifically a cat toy. It could be any cool thing, just a spare ribbon you have, a string, shoelaces, um, peacock feather. <laughs> so um, these were some three options. Um, I have uh, uh, some three options that I've used myself. Uh, to give you some ideas on some wand toys that you can use to play with your cat. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, please, I'd, um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. I'd love to hear um, your uh, picks for wand toys. Also, if you have any ideas for additional videos that you'd like me to do, I'd love to hear from you as well. So thank you again. Um, and you can also find me um, on my website, www www.catsandhamsters.com. Thanks and have a great day.